Hey everybody, um, yeah, so I finished this bust that I had shown some progress on last week and then um, made a little base for it and um, I ended up just getting a little bit of a uh, piece of wood from Michael's that was already sort of cut and you know I guess it's already uh, a milled piece of wood that can be used for bases and things and but it was just sort of like a a pine, you know, very, and I ended up staining it with an oak finish. I ended up getting three of them just in case I do buses in the future, like another one like this, because I did enjoy this. I don't really want to do another one right away because I have like other projects, but I thought I might pick one up in the future and do another one, and um, I'd like them to match on their bases, you know, for my cabinet. And so, yeah, this one, as I mentioned, um, Morg TV, a YouTube channel. Um, in the past had I'd won a bit of a contest and was able to select something and I selected this bust and I've had it on my shelf for a couple of years and uh, had inspiration recently with everybody seeing other people's channels like WG um, Revival was one of them um, and then uh, Victor's channel, another one, uh, has been doing busts, and and so and so yeah, I kind of got inspiration to do one, and um, I'm I really enjoyed it. Um, I really find that our miniature painting techniques tra transfer completely to the larger scale, in my opinion. Um, I do think that there are some differences, but I've kind of known them just through the miniature techniques, and that when when doing glazes and things, I mean over a large flatter surface because normally with our figures faces we don't have as unless we're doing giants and things we don't have um, the, the kind of flat surfaces that you deal with as the scale gets bigger like on the cheekbones and the top of the nose and, th and stuff I mean you can have like an entire head is like the size of a nose on a character like this and so you do have to be careful not to get the little bubble micelles when you're doing really watered down paints otherwise it's going to show up it's not going to be an even color like there's a lot of little things that you have to watch out for that maybe you had to watch out for on a cape or something on a smaller figure but not so much like on a face and so um, but otherwise, I really do think our all of our techniques are really transferable in the to the modeling scale modeling kind of hobby as well, and so um, that explains why a lot of people go back and forth, I suppose, between the two. Um, and so, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. Um, enjoyed doing the base as well. I looked into maybe doing another project like this, and it's funny. Uh, not to derail the showcase video here, but I noticed there are a lot of recasts on eBay. I didn't realize they were recasts at first. I thought they were just good prices. <laughs> but I saw, like, for a lot of $30 sculpts. Of, this is a Young Miniature, apparently, is what it's called. Um, young Miniatures. I have the box here. And uh, it says Young Miniatures right up there. I really like this... Uh, this is out of Korea, I believe, and I really like this sculptor and what he does with historic busts. Um, there were a number of ones that I was interested in, and I noticed um, they were saying, oh, it comes without the box, like, you know, out of Russia, and they were like $30 free shipping. And as much as they, the cast themselves might be really good, I kind of don't feel great about buying something that, you know, isn't going to the artist that made it. And so... Um, it's about double the price if you want to get the original with the box and everything. And so I think that's the route I'm going to go, is just get another one. This time pay for it, because this was a gift, as I mentioned. And get it from Young Miniatures through eBay. They have a store, I believe. I think I'm just going to wait a bit until I'm closer to wanting to buy it, rather than getting ahead of time. But I saw some Dark Ages stuff, things that are a little more um, up my alley in the wargaming side. Uh, didn't see a lot, like, for French Indian War. There were some... Um, Woodland Indian stuff too, which would be kind of cool, but I didn't see any like um, British regulars or French regulars or anything like that, like colony, too many colonials. I think they had some war, American War of Independence stuff, but um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking to maybe try to parallel some of the wargaming theaters that I enjoy in history with maybe getting another bust in the future, and, um, and I, yeah, I'll definitely be going for one of the authentic ones <laughs> that come in a box um, rather than trying to cheap out and uh, but yeah interested in what um, I wanted to ask um, Mr. PM Builder because he uh, 
will sometimes comment on the channel, and I know he's into the scale modeling, if he knows anything about the recasters or if he's ever gotten one of the recasts, um, just because, or anybody else, just because I'm just curious about the quality anyway, just uh, out of curiosity. But, um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a good one, and take care.